Hello, YouTube fans, and welcome back to Retire in Lake Chappell, where we provide you with all the information you need to make informed decisions about moving to Lake Chappell. You know, I hate to say this, but retirement and the encroachment of old age means you need to view life a little differently. It takes some serious planning and finances and health. How do you want to live the rest of your life? And where is the best place for you to spend your remaining years? Is expatriating to Mexico right for you? And more specifically, is Lake Chapala the right spot for you to call home? Let's take a step back for the moment and examine this issue from a broader perspective. Let's for a moment consider your ideal retirement home. Is it an idyllic Mexican Pueblo in the mountains? Or perhaps a remote fishing village on the coast? You know, both sound nice, but these locations may be too far removed from proper health care when you start to suffer from age-related issues or your home may become too hard to maintain after you suffer from a stroke or heart attack. Think about it, where will you go? So to make life easier for yourself and for your kids, let's be realistic when you make that move abroad. Adult children who are holding down jobs and maybe raising kids of their own will be severely burdened if they must travel long distances to help aging loved ones if they are located in remote locations. Let's not forget also with age comes more frequent uh, medical tests and doctor's visits. Specific visits to oncologists, cardiologists, etc. can be a tremendous burden to yourself, your spouse, or your children when you live far away from a good-sized city. So give proper consideration to the needs of tomorrow as well as the needs of today when you choose where to live in Mexico. After all, if this is going to be your last and best move, you need to make a smart and informed decision. Let's use these questions to help you decide if a place will really work for you in retirement now and in the future. Number one, who will look after me in my old age? Number two, is there good medical care nearby? Number three, how safe is it? And number four, how will I get around if I can't drive? Let's examine each of these in turn. Number one, who will look after me in my old age? Old age, you know, we all hope to avoid it and most of us are in denial, but the fact is that virtually all of us, and yes, that could well be you, will need some assistance in their final years. Since the majority of us do not want to burden our children with our disabilities, we need to consider care homes as an option. Fortunately, Lake Chapala has a variety of excellent elder care facilities available, featuring different levels of care, with pricing that is about one-third of the cost of the U.S. and Canada. In addition, there are property managers, legal aid services, concierge services, in-home nursing, legal representation after you die, and more, just like in the States, but at a third of the cost. Number two, is there good medical care nearby? Guadalajara, Mexico's second largest city, is only one hour away and has many top-notch modern facilities with doctors trained in the US and Europe. Lake Chapala itself now has four hospitals and many clinics with doctors visiting from Guadalajara weekly. Number three, how safe is Mexico? There has been much media and US government warnings about living in Mexico but the fact remains that Mexico is a very large country and crime rates vary dramatically from area to area and even within cities. Is the Lake Chapala area ridden with crime? Well, I'd be lying to to if I told you that there was absolutely nothing here, but most people who make the move here will tell you that they feel far safer here than back in their home country, including myself, and I'm from Canada. If you stay out of the drug trade and go about your normal business, you will be extremely unlikely to encounter any crimes against your person. If you don't believe me, then go to the web boards in the area and pose your questions. And when visiting, ask every person their opinion on how safe it is to live here. Everyone will have a different experience and will provide you with a different opinion, but overall you should arrive at the consensus of how safe the area is and what precautions you need to take. Then when you are getting serious about making the move, visit the neighborhoods that appeal to you and speak with the neighbors. Number four, how will I get around if I can't drive? At some point in your elder years, you'll have to face the fact that you may be forced to hang up the keys. So what about public transportation or the availability of drivers for your medical appointments, shopping, dining out, etc.? Lake Chapala has a good public transportation system in the form of frequent bus service along the Caratara. And when that becomes too difficult to navigate due to walking to and from the bus route, there are many taxis as well as private drivers and driving services, and all at low cost. Lake Chapala checks about all the boxes, you may say. But hey, Ricardo, I'm too young to live here. I want adventure in the ocean to see remote Mexican pueblos, etc. 
Well, you know, Lake Chapala is just about in the middle of Mexico and it's all nearby. So as a base of operations to explore Mexico, this is a great place to be. Expats living here routinely travel to the beach, Mexico City, Pascuaro for Day of the Dead, isolated Pacific villages, beaches, and more. So it's all available. Is Lake Chapala the right spot for you to retire? Come on down and check it out. We offer a free tour of the area to learn more about it. And uh, so what have you got to lose? For any other questions about living in Lake Chapala, you can contact me through our website or our Facebook page, Retire in Lake Chapala.